Climate change is no longer a challenge of the future. It is happening right now. One of the most promising technologies helping us combat the climate crisis is concentrating solar power. CSP uses mirrors to concentrate sunlight and generate heat for producing electricity on demand by storing thermal energy. According to the Joint Research Center CSP platform, CSP can cover up to 10% of the electricity in the EU by 2050, a key tool in helping the EU achieve its ambitious climate goals. To achieve these goals, we must overcome several hurdles around cost-effectiveness, scalability, and flexibility. By using more advanced and efficient power cycles operating at higher temperatures and active hybridization with solar PV, we can increase the competitiveness of CSP. Our EU-funded Horizon 2020 project, Solar School, aims at improving the next generation of CSP plants by demonstrating a supercritical carbon dioxide, or SCO2, power block to be coupled with different types of CSP collectors, also thanks to combination with fast, responsive molten salt electric heaters. By combining mature CSP technology with a more advanced cycle and facilitating the integration with PV, we will unlock the potential use of SCO2 and boost the deployment of CSP plants even further. The unique characteristics of SCO2 make it the perfect match for CSP in new power plant designs. Using SCO2 power blocks in CSP increases the plant's efficiency while cutting costs, making them a one-of-a-kind component in achieving the goals of decarbonization and combating climate change. In the coming months, the Solar School project will develop a first-of-its-kind, innovative, scalable, and economically viable SCO2 power block and demonstrate its performance under real operating conditions at the premises of La Africana Power Plant in Spain. Bringing together 15 international project partners, we will demonstrate the key components, features, and technologies of a hybrid PV and molten salt CSP plant. We will showcase the innovative design, efficiency, and flexibility of this novel technology while demonstrating purposely designed molten salt electric heaters, turbo machinery, and the relevant heat exchangers in the cycle. In a hybrid PV and CSP SCO2 system, solar energy is collected by mirrors and concentrated onto a receiver situated on the top of a tower, where molten salts are heated and stored in tanks, enabling the plant to provide heat for power generation on demand, day or night. If needed, and in case of excess PV, an electric heater can be used to boost the temperature or to increase the flow of molten salts. This stored heat is then used to drive a supercritical CO2 power cycle via a tailor-made molten salt called a CO2 primary heater. The La Africana project will be one of the first megawatt scale SCO2 plants in the EU. Following the implementation in Spain, we will conduct further feasibility studies at the Masa Northeast site in Morocco. Our aim is to unlock the potential of the SCO2 blocks in CSP plants at the widest scale possible. By demonstrating these technologies, Solar School will also contribute to bringing SCO2 technology to market in other applications and support the scientific community in the fields of turbo machinery and materials. <laughs>